Hey everyone, this is Emi Chicken from Team Pandori. In a previous video, we checked out the Odroid N2 Plus. Can be had from around $65. This is the best cost performance board you can get for under 150 bucks. It ran all of the older consoles, no problem. And we even managed to push it somewhat. Most of the games on Dreamcast ran very well, with the 3D heavy titles needing some frame skip. This sub $100 board also managed to run some difficult MAME titles. And the feedback from the community was rather positive. Really like the performance of this board. Definitely the best Emulec performance I've seen to date. I can't wait for the day Emu Chicken uses a rubber chicken as his size comparison. The N2 is no joke! It's such a high-powered device at such a small size. When you overclock it to 2.4 GHz, it can most consoles up to PSP with ease. Did you edit your config to 2400 and 2600 greater than? By default, Emulelec does not have it enabled. Dreamcast runs at 1080p, 60 frames per second, with 16x AA no problem. Indeed, we should be running at 2.4 GB bananas. To push the clock up, we need to go to the MULEC microSD, open up config.ini, gonna use Notepad++, and here we go. Here's what we need to change. Opening up the website, we get nothing for the N2+. It's an overclocked variant, so the instructions should not vary too much. What's quite surprising is, yeah, we've only got up to 2 GHz here. And down the bottom, as Qbert Addict 1 mentioned earlier, we can try pushing this even higher. In our config.ini, remove the number sign, then change the top value. We'll have 2400. Zero, zero. And the bottom will have 2016. If you wish to see any more cutting edge MULEC videos, please check out his channel. Now we eject the micro SD, then we can let it rip. We're gonna start off with some N64 games. Cruising USA. KI Gold. This is a very difficult N64 game to run, but perhaps it's like that on the real system. Uh, Killer Instinct, main. Tech and Tag Tournament. We're getting a solid 60 FPS now. Here's Death Smiles on MAME 2016. At Stark it dips to about 50. When it's tuned, it can ride the dips a lot easier. Ibarra. When there's a lot of action happening, this is when you need the clock boost. Onto the PSP, we have Burnout Legends. A favorite here, Outrun 2016, coast to coast. The graphics are on unbuffered 16x and on high. It has an occasional dip to 57, but if we lowered the graphics a little more, we got a constant 60. Tekken 6. It's always the first hit that slows it down, but other than that, it's very playable. God of Yawn. With frame skip off, double resolution. It's completely unplayable. Change the options. Frame skip one, we have a game.
Daytona USA Dreamcast. On the last video of the N2 Plus, I clocked it to 2 GHz, and now with the tune settings, we're still not getting full speed. If we lowered the graphics, we would be able to get 60. However, today, we're going to try something different. We're going to update to MULX 4.3. It's not out yet, so we'll use the beta. And in this new version, they've included Flycast standalone. Once updated, we'll go to the system options. This is where we change the emulator cores. This is Flycast 32-bit. The next setting is Flycast SA, which is the standalone. This should speed us up a little bit. Our frame count is at the bottom left here. We've got 60 FPS. But there are times when it dips to around 50. You can't really feel the dips, but you can hear the audio cut out. We'll just go to settings now. We'll switch automatic frame skip to normal. This will stop the audio from skipping and then push widescreen. This is for the widescreen hack. It does not stretch the screen, but renders the very left and the very right of the image. This will fill our whole 16.9 display. There'll be some graphical glitches on the very left and right, but on the whole, it looks very nice. As we have the Flycast standalone and a faster clock CPU, we can now play Dreamcast games that required Windows CE we could not do this before in any prior version of MULEC. We'll need the GDI version of the game. Here's some Sega Rally 2 Dreamcast. With the automatic frame skip on, this is running quite well. So it's undeniable that the N2 Plus is great value for money. Just make sure you tune it with the better clocks, Emuelic 4.3 if you can, and you'll have a great time. This has been Emu Chicken from Team Pandory. If you liked this video, press like. If you didn't, press the like. Heck, if you want to hang out, come join us on Discord. Ja, matane.